now. Thanks for joining us. A teen mom abandons her one-year-old son to avoid being picked up for shoplifting. And it turns out this is not the first time this young woman has put her child in danger. Night's Next News reporter Jen Pachano has a story all new at 430. Well, Paul, she's fresh off a couple of months in lockup for theft, child endangering, and oh yeah, she had a gun in the baby stroller. Police say this 19-year-old ditched a couple of 15-year-olds with the stolen merch and her toddler. Tis the season for significant shoplifting. A pair of 15 year olds picked up with these hot items from stores all over Crocker Park. They were kind of uncooperative. We recovered about $500 worth of merchandise from stores such as Claire, Buckle, Urban Outfitter, Dick Sporting Goods. When the teenagers were busted, they weren't just holding the bag, they also had a one year old boy with them who they claimed to know nothing about. Westlake police finally determining 19 year old Brittany Walton was involved in the theft and that the child was her son, Javante. A theft, you know, is always wrong, but to abandon your own, uh, your own child purely in hopes of avoiding arrest, that's a whole, no, a whole nother level of wrong. And then to have done it before takes it a couple of notches higher. Garfield Heights police busted her in May for theft. Javante was with her that time, too. The report says she pulled a gun from his stroller. She served several months in jail for that. It's extremely sad for that little boy. And, you know, we look forward to arresting Miss Walton and holding her accountable for her actions. Westlake police had phone contact with Walton twice. And according to them, she stated she didn't care what the officer did. She wasn't coming back. The little boy is with his grandma now. Now Walton is still on the run from these most recent theft related charges and her second child endangering charge bumps it up to a felony. Live in the newsplex, Jen Pachano, 19 Action News. Now.